taught the you girls are great dancers, but you have to have, you have to be sharp mentally. You have to have the right point of view. And we have the person who's going to give you that inspiration. Let's have a, a big dynamics welcome for Gina Calabrese. Woo! Gina Calabrese. Welcome, Gina. Thank you very much, Howie, and it's great to be here at Dance Dynamics. Um, I actually walked in a little bit late because um, St. Mary's Parish was having um, a mass over on the beach, which was so cool. There were, I would say, probably a couple hundred people there. And um, that's why I love Long Beach. One of the reasons I love Long Beach, you know, you walk on the boardwalk and all of a sudden you see church. So it was pretty cool. And, um, you know, last week, a good friend of mine is part of the Cruzada Church, um, which is the church on Long Beach Road. And they had a function going on in front of City Hall as well. So I'm just thinking, it's like, it's so beautiful to see that these, you know, religious communities are out in the open, you know? And um, yeah, last week I, I went to the Cruzada and um, I had a really good experience there. I went into a prayer tent that they had set up and everything. So it's really beautiful and I'm finding like, I don't know, just it just seems like people are a lot more open um, lately, you know, open, open-minded, you know, accepting others, you know, it's more about unity and acceptance and forgiveness and love now, and um, I think it's really beautiful. And one thing I wanted to talk about today um, was the importance of words and the effect that they can actually have. And I wanted to bring up, it was uh, Dr. Emoto is his name, and he's a doctor from Japan. And he actually did a study, and this study actually changed my life because when I heard about it, I realized how important words are and how powerful they are. And he took, um, I forget, like four or five different jars, and um, empty jars, and on the outside of the jar, he had a word on each jar. On one jar, I believe the word was hate, or it might have even been I hate you. On another jar, it was love love you and then on another jar he had prayers that were said and on another jar it said Hitler and what he found actually after a few days with, with the water sitting inside of those jars was the water droplets actually changed form and I have pictures I don't have them with me but I do have pictures and it's really worth taking the time to look google it Dr. Masoro Emoto is his name and it just for me, it changed the way that I looked at words, you know. Words carry a certain um, frequency, a certain vibration. So when we talk about words of love and peace and kindness, they carry a higher frequency and a higher vibration. That affects us. We're made a lot, our human bodies are made of a lot of water. So if you could try to think about words impacting you, you know, that's, that's it's huge. And uh, I wanted to pass that along, especially to these beautiful girls here who actually one of them was one of my softball players at the middle school last year, Mally. Just a wonderful, wonderful um, girl all around, student, athlete, and I'm sorry that I missed her dancing, but um, yeah, we... Maybe we, they'll dance after the show just for Gina. One more special oh, bonus. Okay, then. that would be cool. Right. Um, but we worked, you know, a lot with um, thinking and goal setting and positive thinking and, and just being kind to one another, just trying to be a better person. You know, that was one of the things that we worked on last year with our, our team. And um, that's it. Enjoy this beautiful All right, night. great Thank job. You. All right, let's give it up for Gina. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up after the break, we have one more dance. We have the Christopher Murdy History Report. And we're going to introduce Patrick and we'll talk to Lisa about the, um, uh, the bike tour we have planned and Rocco's movie review. So we have a lot more to come. So keep it locked into 1240. I am Halftime Howie coming to you live from Dance Dynamics on Long Island's first and oldest radio station, AM 1240. WGB.